Wilson, Wilson, could you, you could stop the singing and talk to me for just a second? Well, hi, ho, neighbor. Happy Odo Kowaji. Happy Yokohama to you. <laughs> What's with the kite? Well, today is the Japanese festival of Odo Kowaji, which means big kite flying day. See, according to legend, a master of a 16th century Japanese castle flew a kite in order to celebrate the birth of his son. Yeah, what do you do when his son committed his first crime? Pardon? I'm not going to pardon him. <laughs> what in the world are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Mark got caught stealing a, a pocket knife from Harry's hardware store. And I got really angry with him. I really didn't like this. You know, and Jill got all mad at me because I was yelling at him. I told him he's grounded for the rest of his life. Well, Jim, that seems like pretty harsh punishment. You know how I look at it? The stronger the punishment, the less likelihood is the kid will ever do it again. Well, Ted, many people subscribe to that theory, but I'm reminded of the great Nietzsche. Wow. What a linebacker. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> oh. not, not Ray Nitschke. Talking about Frederick Nietzsche, the German philosopher. Sure, Freddy, yeah. <laughs> yes. Nietzsche said a punishment often increases the feelings of estrangement and strengthens the power of resistance. I think what influenced me more was Fisk. Well, I didn't know you were a fan of John Fisk, the English historian. I'm not. I'm talking about Carlton Fisk, the White Sox catcher. <laughs> he said, if you get caught stealing, throw him out. <laughs> <laughs>